All right, so what you guys just saw was the drop test for the final plate. We dropped it two times on the strike face from about five feet. I don't know why I keep saying five feet. I think it's more than five feet, but let's just go with five feet. Anyways, I'm pretty sure um, that nothing happened. The strike face is not compromised in any way because... I tried to break one of these individual tiles with a hammer um, and literally nothing happened, so I could not break it. And on top of that, the final plate has a layer of silicone over the tiles. And the fact that when you're dropping it, the pressure is applied to 240 of these tiles rather than just an individual tile. So I'm pretty sure the strike face is completely fine. But just for those people who say like, oh, you didn't drop test it. Well, there we go. And then after that, we um, packaged it up. I'm going to be shipping it to 3R Ballistics. I'll link his channel in the description of this video. Definitely go check him out. Uh, I'm not sure when the video will be out because it's going to take a few days just for it to ship to him. And then with whatever his schedule is. So just... Keep an eye out, check his channel, it will be up there eventually. Um, he's going to be testing 308, and then if it can stop that, um, he'll move up to a higher threat. I'm honestly not sure if it's going to stop 308, but I guess we'll find out. And on top of that, I wanted to talk to you guys about the helmet. Originally, I was going to do 29 layers of a composite of basalt fiber and carbon fiber. And I'm pretty sure that would have been 3A, but I want to add another composite fabric. It's a three material um composite fabric it has kevlar fiberglass and carbon fiber in one fabric so i'm going to be adding that to the mix up so we have three different fabrics utilizing four materials and i just wanted to ask you guys if you'd rather me test and find the optimal you know composite layup before we actually turn it into a helmet or if i should just you know go ahead and go to the helmet and with the 29 layers and you know not do any testing in between to find out if that's actually going to stop or be 3a because i can do a separate video finding like the optimal composite layup before we do the helmet and that way when we go into the helmet we actually know it's going to be able to stop 44 magnum and a pretty spicy 44 magnum considering i only have a rifle platform so it's gonna definitely be going way faster than the 3a specifications velocity wise i kind of had an idea of you know making a video about like finding the ultimate um armor composite using fabrics so i guess this would like kind of tie into a video i was thinking of already doing so i mean i might just do that before we do the helmet but if you guys want to see the helmet before i do another video then definitely let me know and i'll work on i'll start work on that before we do any other type of videos um i'll probably see if i can stop any rifle rounds with this type of composite i'm honestly not sure but it really just depends on how much fabric i have left if you guys want me to do the helmet before that or not but obviously if i do that before then i'll probably use up all the fabric trying to stop rifle rounds using a composite and then i'll have to get more fabric for the helmet so Either way, there's going to be some type of delay between whichever video you want to be second. So if you want the 
like ultimate composite armor video to be first, the helmet video is going to be delayed because I'm going to need more fabric and vice versa. If you want the helmet video first, then the ultimate composite armor is going to be delayed because I'm going to need more fabric. So just keep that in mind when you guys are telling me what video you want to be first or second. Or if you think I should just not even do the ultimate armor, composite armor video. Anyways, a bit of a rant there. Um, I guess I'll see you in whatever video you guys pick next.